Powerwall 3 is an all-in-one solar inverter and battery system designed for fast and efficient installations, easy system expansion, and simple connection to any electrical service. Powerwall 3 is made by installers for installers to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Beyond the standard electrician tools, installing Powerwall 3 requires only a few tools. A Torx screwdriver with a T20 Torx bit for the front cover screws and ground bar. A small, cabinet tip flathead screwdriver for the AC and DC wire terminations. Wire strippers for conductors ranging from 0.2 to 25 millimeters and wire crimpers for forked terminals on the DC conductors. Powerwall 3 is installed with backup gateway. Gateway monitors the amount of power flowing to and from the home at all times. It also acts as an islanding contactor, disconnecting the home from the utility grid during a power outage. Powerwall 3 is interconnected to the home's electrical system with a dedicated breaker. This breaker can be installed inside the home's main electrical panel, a subpanel, or fusing backup gateway in its internal panel board. Powerwall 3 is shipped in reusable packaging. This packaging includes Powerwall 3, a box containing the glass door and wall mounting bracket, and an accessory bag. The die cast enclosure of Powerwall 3 is IP67 rated, allowing it to be installed indoors or outdoors. The enable switch for Powerwall 3 is located on the left side of the unit. Below the enable switch is a DC expansion port, which can be used to easily connect additional power wall units. Near the top of the unit are the conduit entry knockouts. As can be seen, knockouts of various diameters are available. The right side of power wall 3 also includes a DC expansion port and conduit knockouts, as well as a DC disconnect switch. On the back of the unit, two sets of mounting cleats, seen here, are used when mounting with the wall bracket. These cleats engage with the flanges of the wall bracket. This is the air duct, a factory installed part that encompasses the entire width of the unit. Two fans, located at the top of the unit, pull cool air from the intake at the bottom through this duct. An additional air intake is located underneath the unit. The fans pull cool air from here along the front of Powerwall 3. The air intake screen is installed here. Two adjustable feet facilitate leveling Powerwall 3 when floor mounting. On the glass front door of Powerwall 3, a status indicating LED is visible behind the Tesla logo. The front cover is secured to the enclosure using six fasteners. These fasteners are single use when Powerwall 3 is installed in wet locations as they include a waterproofing gasket. Additional front cover screws can be ordered separately. Behind the front cover of Powerwall 3 are all the field accessible internal components. This terminal block is used to connect the alternating current side of Powerwall 3 to the interconnecting breaker. This terminal block is used for direct current conductors coming from a solar array. The ground lug is located here. The Tesla ASIC controller, also known as the TACO, acts as a site controller for Powerwall 3 systems. On board the TACO are terminals used for communication with the islanding contactor, low voltage system shutdown switches, and RJ45 Ethernet connections. In addition to power management, the TACO also monitors all solar produced by Powerwall 3 with half percent accuracy. The installation of Powerwall 3 consists of three core tasks. It starts with mounting the unit, followed by making wiring connections to the home's electrical system and solar array, and finally, commissioning the system with the Tesla One app. Each of these topics is covered in subsequent videos, in addition to energy metering, internet connections, and installations with multiple Powerwall 3 units.